Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is Ledger, and welcome back to another information video here on the channel. If you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on that bell to all so you don't miss out on my next video. And let's go ahead and get right into it. I was debating if I wanted to upload this video on my channel or just leave you guys in the dust and not upload it. But I thought to myself for a couple of days, I said, you know what? I'm going to make this video. I'm going to share it with you guys because I wanted to spread more awareness about this topic and situation that is about to happen next year on january 1st 2023 is when this law or bill will be going to in effect and i really 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 recommend that you guys leave a like on this video share it with as many people as you can if you have any people that live in the state of chicago i just wanted to make awareness that you guys really should debate on moving out of Chicago and getting the hell out of that state because this is about to happen next year on the first day of the new year, literally. So I'm gonna let you guys watch this video of this mayor basically talking about this and I'll leave article links in the description box down below for you guys to go check out. But this is very disturbing to hear. I've watched this video clip probably about two to five times and every single time that I replay it back in my own head, it makes my stomach turn upside down and it's just obscene on hearing something like this. So yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys all in my next video. I'm gonna let you guys watch the clip and yeah, let's go. Comments on this. I can't even begin to tell you how dangerous this act is. First, it was passed in the middle of the night with 40 minutes to read an 800 page bill, which is unacceptable. As of January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. <clears throat> it abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. This is a massive threat to the residents of Orland Park, Cook County, and Illinois. I want to remind voters that several elected officials that will be on the ballot in Orland Park voted for this abomination. Senator Michael Hastings, Senator Emile Jones, and Representative Justin Slaughter all voted to put criminals ahead of the safety of law-abiding citizens and police. In particular, Senator Hastings, who personally told me that this, that this bill, that he had a family, and that this bill was horrible and there was no way he would vote for it. An outright, an outright lie that in my opinion disqualifies him to hold his office. I will gladly cast my vote for, the re for this resolution and demand the repeal of the Orwellian named Safety Act. But it doesn't end here. There is currently a bill in, in front of the House to remove school resource officers from our schools, which means no resource officer at Sandberg High School. The city of Chicago has already done this. I personally don't want to see the city of Chicago become the standard for how we conduct public safety because they've abandoned their police officers and abandoned their residents and created a war zone full of criminals. There's also a bill to make fentanyl a misdemeanor in this state. And I want to remind you that we have represent representatives that currently represent us or will represent us potentially in the federal government that voted to not extend the fentanyl ban federally. Fortunately, it passed, but there are people that actually believe that we shouldn't have a ban on fentanyl that currently, that currently represent our community. That's just absolutely unacceptable. It's, it's like they won't, they, they won't stop until they destroy our communities and our society. We all need to take a stand against this. This is a very, very dangerous bill.